Well, in surgery, you couldn't have people who are more specialized. And you couldn't have people who are better trained. And yet, we see unconscionable levels of death, disability, that could be avoided. And so we looked at what other high-risk industries do. We looked at skyscraper construction. We looked at the aviation world. And what we found, that they have technology, they have training, and then they have one other thing. They have checklists. I did not expect to be spending a significant part of my time as a Harvard surgeon worrying about checklists. And yet, what we found were that these were tools to help make experts better. We got the lead safety engineer for Boeing to help us. Could we design a checklist for surgery? Not for the lowest people on the totem pole, but for the folks that were all the way around the chain, the entire team, including the surgeons. And what they taught us was that designing a checklist to help people handle complexity actually involves more difficulty than I had understood. You have to think about things like pause points. You need to identify the moments in a process when you can actually catch a problem before it's a danger and do something about it. You have to identify it that this is a before takeoff checklist and then you need to focus on the killer items. An aviation checklist like this one for a single engine plane isn't a recipe for how to fly a plane. It's a reminder of the key things that get forgotten or missed if they're not checked.